Hello, Larry Lewis here again, and this is a continuation of the series on what would you like to be known for. Today, my focus is on the Father. What would you like to be known for? You, Father, you man who has been graced to give birth to someone, to birth a child, to nurture a child. What would you like to be known for? What would you like to be remembered for? How do you want to be described when you are gone? Dear Father, this weekend happens to be Father's Day uh, for most parts of the world. And it's as if there is only one Father's Day, right? But even though there is one Father's Day, every day is the day that the responsibility of fatherhood beckons on you as a man. As a father, you are the eye of the family. You are the first mentor. You are the first leader that that child will know. What part, what footprint are you setting in the history of your family? As a father, you can decide to chart the course for your lineage. In the Bible, the Bible talks about Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, every one of them are lineage. You can decide to study the history of your family and know whether you want something that is important to continue or you want to set something new in your path. The moment you marry, you start a new nation and in every nation, there are protocols, there are rules, there are regulations, there is a culture of every nation, there is a way to do things in a nation. As a father, you chart the vision of that new nation that has been formed by your family, by your wife, by you and your wife. And when you chart the course of the nation, you are also the immigration officer to ensure that Within the, con the, the confine of that, your new nation, nothing comes in that is contrary to what you said, or to the dimension you said. That's the first one. You are also to ensure that even if you are to identify something nice from another lineage, just like you have countries who see maybe some nice economic policies, you can have an hybrid operating in your own nation and so as a father you chart the course for that nation for that your child whether it's a boy or a girl and within that confine they know that in our own lineage this is our culture here and you are to identify what are the best practices that will make nations to work properly in this instance what are the best practices that make families to have generational impact to have children that grow up to become inf I mean, positive influence in the society, that grow up to become men and women of influence, that grow and manifest, unleash the hidden I mean, potentials in them. You are to give yourself to learning. You are to give yourself to also mentorship because there is nobody that knows it all. And so, you are to explore and leverage on those who have gone ahead. Irrespective of the age that you are, or experience that you have, there are those who have gone ahead of you. Learn from them through their books, through their writings, through their speeches. I mean, network with people who are operating in the dimension, in the principles, in the reality that you want to form in your nation and so you become the shining example for that child for the wife to grow and so when they mention in the lineage of mr x or in the lineage of mr y the children do this the family do this it is because of what has been structured by virtue of the way you learn things there 